So it's Aki season in Jamaica right now. Yay! And no, Jamaican Aki is not the same thing as Bajan Aki. Because in Barbados, they call these fruits Akis, which are called guineps here in Jamaica, and in other countries, Spanish limes or quinepas. So Jamaican Aki is a totally different fruit from Bajan Aki. So we're going to be harvesting some Jamaican Akis, and I'm going to show you guys how Jamaicans pick Akis, meaning how we prepare Akis before we cook them. And I'm also going to be sharing some of the health benefits that you can get from eating Akis. Stay tuned. Welcome to another episode of Earth's Medicine, the channel that introduces you to the healing wonders of Mother Earth with a Jamaican flavor. So no wasting of time today, guys. Let's jump right into the video. So Jamaican Aki is our national fruit and it's a very important component of our national dish Aki and Saltfish which is a dish considered to be a delicacy by many Jamaicans. The scientific name for Aki is Blaia Sa Pida which is a name given to the fruit in honor of the gentleman who transported the first Akis from Jamaica to England in 1806. This gentleman's name was Captain William Bly and he was an officer of the Royal Navy and a colonial administrator as well. And he's actually the same person who introduced the Jamaican breadfruit to the island in 1793. So Jamaican Aki has its origin in West Africa but it is believed to have traversed the Atlantic Ocean in the 18th century in slave ships, making Jamaica and the rest of the Caribbean also its home. Later on, Akis were introduced to other places like Florida, Hawaii, and India, for example. This tree is called an Aki tree, and this is where Aki comes from. Aki trees can be found growing all over the island and they usually just grow wildly, organically and abundantly in backyards, along roadsides and in forests. The Aki tree can grow up to 50 feet tall and this is under favorable conditions. And uh, one tree can produce hundreds of fruits, but it all depends on the size of the tree and it's all during the course of a year. These fruits are seasonal and they are medium-sized fruits that grow in reddish yellow pods. And these pods open upon maturity, revealing three shiny round black seeds that are surrounded by a spongy flesh called the aril, which is actually the edible part 
of the fruit. <laughs> and, you know, if you're not familiar with the Jamaican Aki, at a glance, the fruit resembles the face of a cat or some other kind of animal, you know? What do you think? Please share your thoughts in the comment section because I'd really like to know. When we are gathering fruits, it is normal for us to use the terms harvesting or picking, you know, referring to the whole act. However, as mentioned previously, picking aki in Jamaica can also mean preparing or cleaning the aki before cooking it. And this is a very, very crucial process because this yummy fruit that is considered a delicacy by many Jamaicans can also be fatal if not picked properly. Meaning, picked as in harvested properly and picked as in cleaned properly before cooking. When harvesting akis, only fruits that have been naturally opened should be harvested because fruits that have been forced open are deadly poisonous. And this is because unripened aki contains a toxic compound called hypoglycine. So the first step in the picking process is to remove the aril along with the seeds from the pod of the aki. And once that's done, the seeds are then removed and discarded as they are poisonous. And this can be done by using your fingers to wring it off or it can be done using a knife to cut it off. There is a pinkish red piece of membrane found in the center of the aril, which also needs to be removed as well. And this is also crucial because if eaten, this pinkish red membrane can also be fatal. And this membrane can either be removed with your fingers or with a knife. Many people believe that the fats found in Aki is unhealthy and they can increase our cholesterol levels. However, it's quite the opposite because research has proven that these fats are actually good for us because they are unsaturated fats, which means that they have a very positive effect on HDL, LDL cholesterol ratio and they can help to reduce the risk of chronic diseases and breast cancer in particular. Aki also contains linoleic acid, which is a polyunsaturated omega-6 fatty acid that isn't made in our bodies and is very necessary for membrane development in our eyes and brains as well. Aki is also very rich in fiber as well. 
and we all know that fiber is good for digestive health and for proper bowel movement which may help to reduce our risk of developing colon cancer and in terms of nutrients aki has some really good ones aki is super rich in potassium potassium has some major roles to play in our bodies for example it can help to reduce our risk for stroke because it can help to widen our blood vessels and it works with sodium to balance the fluid and electrolytes in our bodies um you know so it can help to keep our blood pressure under control and it may help to reduce kidney stones and bone loss as we age aki also contains a good amount of calcium and we all know that calcium is needed so that our bodies can build and maintain strong bones and we need calcium for some vital body processes for example for muscle contraction and bone metabolism blood clotting hormone release and even more vital body processes as well aki is also rich in vitamin a which can help to fight free radical damage and inflammation plus vitamin a also supports our immune systems and it is good for our skin and eyes and it can help to promote cell growth as well aki is also rich in vitamin c and we all know that vitamin c can help to strengthen our immune systems among many other things there are some natural plant chemicals that are called saponins and akis contain these things and saponins can help to fight free radical damage and they may reduce our risk for cancer as well another thing and this is especially for persons who are on a plant-based diet aki is a rich source of protein 100 grams of aki which is about half of a cup contains four grams of protein so this is a good um animal protein replacement for those of us who are on a plant-based diet medical disclaimer the information shared on earth's medicine is for the purpose of enlightenment it is not to be used as a substitute for pharmaceutical medicine if you are feeling ill or you have any health concerns please speak to your doctor about same